right? Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakodash. I give double honor to the apostles of great mercy that do rule well. Salutations to the men of the hopeful and sincere elect. This is Makazar from Trinidad Camp. Just want to do a little edification. All right. For, I would say the young Archeum, but, you know, men that just hearing this word, all right, newcomers to the word, you know, hearing the word for the first time, you know, and, and believing in it, all right, this lesson is for you. All right, because it have a lot of people that, you know, when you preach and, you know, they come up, and they hear the word and you know they believe and it, it sounds it sounds good it makes sense to them all right but that's just it it the word just sounds good to them all right now we know not everyone gonna be a prophet all right the scripture also talk about the the, the innumerable multitude all right so not everybody gonna be coming out on the streets and be prophets you know preaching this word and whatnot but it's also a way of life. When you hear this truth and you believe in this word, then you start to conform your ways to the, to the way the scriptures, to the way the most high design. You keep his laws, commandments, and statutes, you know, and you try to live more according to the scriptures and less according to the world. All right? Do you be in this world? Don't, don't, don't be of the world. All right? So that's want to bring out a few scriptures. You know, to, to back up to our saying. This is Ezekiel chapter 33 verse 30. It says, Also thou son of man, the children of thy people, still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses. And speak one to another, every one to his brother, saying, Come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that cometh forth from Yahba Hashem Yahushai. Because you be, you be talking. You know, you be going around saying, Hey, these men that be preaching, they, they be preaching the truth. You believe. All right? It says, and they come unto thee as the people come it, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them. For with their mouth they show me much love, but their heart goeth after their covetousness. So you believe in this word, but yet you want to be a part of the word, and the scripture says, No man can serve two masters. Alright? You believe in this word. But then you want to you want to still do worldly things. Guess what? This word, this word, this truth, is more than just you know just comforting words, all right? It more than just uplifting words, because it's like like taking case in point Christians, all right? You know, they might be having somewhat of a spiritual fight. They might they always believe they're having a spiritual fight from Satan. But let's say, you know family members might be against them or friends might be against them and what they will do they will just go and read one scripture and that's it the scripture will make them feel better just for that day all right so they read a scripture to apply to the situation that they're in and then that is it that is like a man looking at himself in a mirror look very right, good and then he go on his way now whereas the scriptures are for our comforting they also are there to teach us Right, the scripture said to walk in the old paths, so it's not just that you just looking at you reading the words and 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 that is it, it just makes you feel better, and then you go your merry way. Now, nah. it's about changing your lifestyle to the design that the most high set up to, to keep his laws, commandments, and his statutes, all right, and to wait on the coming of his son Yahweh Shai. There's the basic the purpose of this truth to wake up the elect, all right. It says, verse 32, And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that had a pleasant voice and can play well on the instrument. For they hear thy words, but they do them not. So they hear the words, but they don't do them. They just, they, what you say is it, it, something new. What new doctrine is this? So they will come out, they will come out every Saturday, every Thursday, or whenever, you know, the brothers be out there on the camp doing the works. They will come out. They will come out every week. But all they do, just come on, just to hear the words. But then when you check on a day-to-day -day basis, it's as though they never heard the word. All right? It's like the word just, just flows in them while they are around the brothers. And after they leave, it's like they never heard the word. All right? But they come out because they desire to hear this word. But this is not, this is not just about hearing. This is also about doing. It says, 
verse 33, And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come, then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. All right? Then when martial law comes, when the RFID chip be implemented, which is the mark of the beast, when World War III comes, then they're going to know the severity of the scriptures. Then they're going to know that, guess what? These were not just mm. words that we were speaking. These were, were life. We were, we were actually, through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Shai, giving you the chance of the hope of salvation. All right? And really and truly, it's, like, it's, it's almost as if you didn't believe. Because if you did believe, then you would have done his will. All right? If you did believe, you would have done his will. All right? This is James chapter 1. Verse 22, it says, But be doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. So you can't just be a hearer of the word. You also have to be a doer of the word. For if any man be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like a man beholding his natural face in a glass. Verse 24, For he beholdeth himself, and goeth his way, and straight we forget it, what manner of man he was. So when you hear in this word, you say, yeah, you know, I really have to try to change my life. I have to do this. I have to start to live according to the Lord's commandments and statutes. But then after you leave the camp, guess what? You, go, you, you just forgot the things that were flowing through you. You forgot the spirit that was, split, that was singing in your ear. And you go on back to being that old nigga. So you were just was a hearer of the word. You can't be a hearer of the word. You're only deceiving your own self. All right? As the scripture said, um... Lord, you taught in our streets. Yeah, we know we taught in your streets. And the Lord know he, he, he sent his prophets to teach in your streets. But it's not just about hearing. The scripture said, Lord said, he, he, I know you not. So you have to be a doer of this word. You must be a doer of this word. As I said, not everybody going to be a prophet. All right? But when you, come, when you believe in this truth, guess what? You have to show a form of godliness. You have to show that the word of the Most High working within you. And guess what case I'm pointing the women. The women can't come out and preach. So guess what? The women have to show a form of godliness that are according to scriptures. And guess what? When I said a form of godliness, I'm not talking about just putting on long dress and covering your head. Anybody could do that. But it also goes to your mentality. Being humble. And that is one of the greatest um, hurdles that Jake be trying to, trying to overcome. The self. That pride. All right? So it, it all begins with, with inside your mind. All right? You have to show the form of godliness from within. All right? And this is the final precept here. This book of 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 16. I start at verse 15. It says, Meditate on these things. Give thyself wholly unto them, that thy profiting may appear unto all. So you have to give yourself wholly unto it, not partially. Not just hear it, but actually do it. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them. For in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. So you have to continue in this word. This is not something that you do for a short while. Alright? You have to take heed to the doctrine. And you have to do what the scripture said. The scripture said, if you keep my commandments, then are you my disciples. Alright? This truth is about doing, not just about hearing. Faith coming by hearing, but guess so? Guess what? Faith without works is dead. All right? So, no, I hope it was edifying. As I said, it's to, you know, brothers now hearing the word. Or brothers that have been hearing the word for months and just, you know, just remaining on the sideline. Guess what? There's, there's, there's time for you to stop playing because guess what? The gates of repentance closing. About high time to, re re to wake up out of that sleep. All right, so with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahushai, Ba'asham Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles of great mercy, not rule well. Salutations to the men of the whole plan, Saint Select. This is Makazar saying Shalom.